Hey folks, Dave here, and I recently started a new job. And as my first week, as my new employment, I decided that I wanted to be intentional about what knife I carried for my first week. Now, in my interview, I got to nerd out with the guy a little bit about my PM2, but for the first week being, being around the guys, you know, you, at least I, want to be intentional about not drawing too terrible much attention to myself. It's something that I'm not always great at because, well, yeah. Like, I, I, want, my, I want my personality in my various circles to be more than just the knife guy. Which, unfortunately, I have not been great at, you know, main, I have not been great at being intentional about that in the past. At my new job, I wanted to be intentional. I wanted to be more than just the knife guy. So, as part of my accomplishment of that, I wanted to carry something that was a little more simple than, you know, some of my more flashy pieces. I have a lot of very expensive, nice, you know, purpose, work-built stuff that I've carried in the past. But I wanted to be a little bit more pro low profile. So, what could possibly be more low profile than my brand new Delica that I had just recently gotten? This is the exclusive... Future me. This is the uh, exclusive of store that came out just recently. DLT maybe? I forgot. It is blacked out crew wear and OD gray handles. Meaning that this is my only blacked out Delica, and also is a Delica, I guess, that part's obvious. The reason that the blacked out is so vitally important is that my job consists of cutting open a lot of bags of lime and fertilizer and of various, like, stuff that will eat steel, stuff that will rust out S30V, they're like, I had to clean this thing out and soak all of its components in vinegar because just so much, this was at a previous job doing something similar, because like the liners were so covered in rust because I work with very corrosive materials. So that is kind of what sparked my transition of, you know, I didn't want to be mall ninja -y years before, but now I take this new position where everything that I touch falls into a pile of brown oxidation and everything needs to be a little bit better at defending against that. Thus, my excitement about the black coating and why so many of my knives just, they're suddenly black coated now. Ooh, sheepdog. The crew wear also excited me because this is a variant with a relatively super steel, I guess one could refer to crew wear as, it's not super hard, my understanding. It's not super hard, so it's not going to cut for a thousand years. But it is an upgrade over the VG10 in that way. It is also very tough. So like the classic example of if you're cutting cardboard and run into a metal staple, this will, you know, it will ding, it will bend, it will bend, not break kind of thing, right? Very newbie understanding of metallurgy. So this is also my first crew wear knife, so I was excited to carry it. Keep a low profile, carry something that you know and that you trust. With a Delica, straight up, it's just a Delica. I know a Delica. Going along with how simple this is, filmed later, so whatever. Going along with how simple this is, there was an instance where a coworker of mine needed a knife. Why he wasn't carrying one himself, I don't know. Everyone's a little bit of an idiot. Don't ask your coworker for a knife, carry your own darn knife. But this was something that I was able to hand, hand to him and he didn't have to figure it out at all. It's a backlog. Everyone knows how to use this. And that took a guy from somebody who I did not know to an instant buddy. So have a knife on you. They work good in the workplace. So I'm carrying something that I can trust, something that's quiet, and something that fits what I need kind of corrosion wise and it went great i love this knife i have opened hundreds of bags of lime and fertilizer and various other things with this knife over this past week and the edge has not seriously dulled now on monday when i take this out the, for the first time 
This thing was hair popping. It came out of the box pretty decent. I didn't really carry it for a while. And then, you know, make sure that it's good and ready on the sharp maker before going out to work. Now, it will still cut paper. It's not going to, you know, shave, but it will still cut paper pretty decently. It held its edge much better than, you know, VG10 has in the past. What will always be my go-to example is Oz8 versus D2. When you upgrade a steel like that, there is an, it's an obvious difference. If it's something that you're using, especially cutting through metal bag, not metal, my goodness, not metal bags, uh, but like plastic bags and nylon bags and uh, the, the plastic burlap stuff that seed comes in. When you start cutting through those materials a whole lot and like saran wrapping, those materials can dull a knife like crazy. Which is why this, as one of my favorite de knife designs in the world, is wasted on Oz 8. Can't do it. Can't carry it. Crew wear held up spectacularly. What didn't hold up quite as well is, let's see if you can see it, all of that. There's a whole lot of staining. I have not cleaned this yet. But there's a whole lot of staining here that I fear is just rust on the actual blade now. This is alcohol, by the way. So I hope that this is not, that this is just dirt. I haven't actually cleaned this yet. No, it's not going away. There's no mess on my towel. It's just... It doesn't have too much of a texture to it. That's weird. So I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. I hope it's just scuffing on the coating. But again, the DLC coating is something... Where'd my PM2 go? Is something that is so tough that like it eats materials and keeps it with it. This is aluminum can that is stuck to the knife. That's what those scratches are. So it's just weird to see it happening in a less abrasive situation. I don't know, that's odd. I very much hope that that's not actual rust because if it is, I would be incredibly disappointed. Crew wear is one of the more rusty, well, it's not stainless by any means. Again, my understanding, but I, very much hope that it's not like actually rusting but it also has all blacked out interiors and the lock bar and the screws which tells you that yes they can do that they just choose not to <laughs> they just choose not to so this was a perfect carry for my first week and now having because I've never carried a Delica not seriously in a work scenario I appreciate all the more the fact that this really is the last knife that I need. Were I a sane man, this right here, because I do, I wish that so many more knives had the Emerson hook. But were I a sane man, you know, these would be the only two knives in the entire world that I would have any need of. Work carry, off work carry. But... I'm a bit of a weird boy. So this has been my first week carry. It went great. I love it. Crew wear, my first experience with it, was a great experience. I've got questions about the coating on this particular model in ways that I have not had questions of the coating before. And I I feel that, you know, I've been a little, little sneaky, a little under the radar that hopefully I am not just just the knife guy. I don't know. We'll see going forward. Next week probably isn't going to help that very much. But I'll let you know how that goes too. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or suggestions, let me know down below. If you have ever been, or maybe had to be, very intentional about the knives that you carried, or even just the tools in general, that you carried at work for you know a variety of reasons. Let me know down below. Those are stories that I would love to hear. And other than that, y'all have a great day.